Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Uh, a few days ago, I passed through uh, one street nearby my place and I found this uh, lorry selling some seafood yeah, in the morning. So I uh, went there and uh, buy some fish from them. And uh, this is one of the fish that I bought. It's actually the uh, Chinese pon fruit. Um, very thick, yeah. As you can see here, this is actually very thick, very nice. This is about three hundred uh, gram each, yeah. So I'm cooking for three person here today. One person is going to have one fish today. Very nice. And uh, I also bought some larger ones as well. Um, anyway. I think this is a, this size is just nice for uh, deep frying and um, the last time I fried a Chinese pon fruit it is actually super sweet very very fresh the flesh is very sweet very tender and the uh, all the fin side fins here actually can be eaten as well very very um, um, crispy and fragrant okay so what you normally do when you buy a Chinese pon fruit um, it's very similar to white pon fruit yeah and what you do is you can use a knife to uh, scrap off yeah the the very thin uh, scales outside if if there's any steel on it yeah just use a very easy just use a something uh, hard to scrap it off yeah and wash it and just make sure you wash the cavity nicely and degard it usually the fish uh, seller will degard for you and yeah just use some uh, nice uh, peanut oil to fry it and then it's going to be very fragrant. Okay. Always remember you want to use, uh, prepare a high heat oil, uh, at least 180 degree and above. Usually 180, it is actually the smoking point of uh, most type of oil. So the moment you start seeing the oil, you can actually put your fish inside. I did marinate my fish with a little bit of salt, yeah? Of course, uh, if you want to see lesser splattering, uh, you can actually pat, you know, use some kitchen towel to pat dry your fish. So the first rule is uh, not to flip your fish too frequently after you put in it. Uh, what you do is you let it fry for about, depending on the heat of your uh, your stove. My new stove is actually very hot, much hotter than my uh, old ones. So last time I used to fry for at least three to four minutes. I'll probably now reduce it to two to three. But more importantly, you still use your eyes to uh, uh, pay attention to the fish. Look at the edges. If the edges started to turn brownish, that is the time telling you uh, it is uh, that side is almost ready. You can turn to the other side. Okay, so we will come back in about two minutes time. Okay, less, less than two minutes actually, my, uh, I can see the edges already turn yellowish. I'm going to turn it around. So I'm using a long spatula and a spoon to help me turn this to the uh, to turn the fish to the side. All right, nice golden brown. I really like having uh, my new uh, hob because it's extremely hot. I used to think uh, electric electromagnetic stove cannot be as hot as the fire stove, but I was so wrong. Okay, so this time I'm going to give it another a minute plus to two minutes, then it is almost done. Very, very fast. But uh, really depending on the temperature on your stove, yeah? Uh, most fish will actually take about three to four minutes each side, yeah? Okay, this is after another minute and a half. Let me flip it over. Ooh, nice. If you fry crispy enough, sometimes even the head you can finish eating it, yeah? I love this fish. Okay, it's basically done. My old stove will definitely take longer. This new stove almost cut the timing almost to half. 
see how beautiful it is. Okay, put it to the side to let it let the oil render out. Yep. Then we put it onto a oil absorbing paper at the side. Let me put in another fish. Okay, we will come back shortly. Okay, this is about two minutes. Beautiful golden brown. Okay, give the other side another two minutes, then it is done. Only four minutes to fry a fish, but of course, this is only 300 grams, much smaller. Yeah, okay, this is after another two minutes. Just let me check the other side. All right. Let's put it to the side and let the oil render out and put it onto an oil absorbing paper yeah at the side before you uh, put it onto the uh, serving plate okay okay so here's my uh, pan deep fry uh, Chinese pond bread and we will usually eat with a dip here uh, this dip is actually a combination between um, as you can see from here chili party the bird eye chili, so a bit quite spicy, yeah, and then with some uh, uh, mostly of this uh, sauce here is actually light soya sauce with a little bit of fish sauce. Combining the light soya sauce and fish sauce can make your sauce uh, very different, yeah. Try it out. So if you, uh, how you like my video, if you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Enjoy your simple dinner with your family. Bye-bye.